Hi, I'm Natasha Riadis, and you are watching Dr. Tash TV. I'm here to inspire, educate, and help you create a happy and healthy life and answer any questions you may have not been able to ask your doctor. Are you trying to have a baby? Do you use lubricants when you have sex? And what type of lubricants do you use? Depending on where you live in the world, you might have different lubricants available to you. Maybe you use saliva. And really that's okay, because a lot of people do. And I can't blame you either. It's free and it's always on tap, ready to go. But hey, could saliva be harmful to sperm? In one study, saliva was found to cause the sperm to make shaking movements. Saliva caused an impairment in sperm motility and activity. It may actually reduce your chances of getting pregnant. Saliva can really shake up that sperm. So if you're trying to have a baby, best avoid saliva around the time of ovulation. Choose the right lubricant for the right situation. Make this Dr. Tash tip your mantra. When trying to get pregnant, don't let saliva get in the way of your sperm's grit. Any other time in the month may be okay. Maybe try and spend some more time on foreplay so you can get them natural juices flowing. Some women find it hard though to get moist because they're either on the pill, they're breastfeeding, or they're menopausal. So if you need to use lube and are trying to fall pregnant, then look for sperm-friendly lubricants. Studies to date show lubes like baby oil, canola oil, olive oil, coconut oil, and a brand called Preseed may be okay. The less ingredients, the better, I say. Avoid lubes that contain fragrances, and please don't use KY. Don't let them swimmers go to waste. Let this Dr. Tash mantra be, don't let saliva get in the way of your sperm's grit. It's also important to remember to use vagina-friendly lubricants, and that I will discuss in another episode of Dr. Tash TV. Thank you for watching Dr. Tash TV. Please share this episode if you think it may help others, and I'll see you next time.